the way you choose colour, the way you relate to colour, and the way you think about colour is highly context dependent. Right? So choosing a pair of trousers is not the same as choosing a car, it's not the same as choosing a bathroom colour. So I prefer to think of, think of this in terms of um, colour literacy. So simply give people the language with which to express their thoughts about colour and to communicate their thoughts about colour to each other. I think if you ask a room full of people what their favourite colour is, about 90% of them will say blue. But then if you ask them, do you have a blue carpet or do you have a blue car or do you have blue socks or have you painted your house blue, you'll find that most of them will say no, that their, their favourite colour is, is, a concept, is a conceptual colour. But the reason that you choose colours for different purposes, whether it's fashion or home decoration, uh, is really about that context. So it doesn't necessarily mean that your favourite colour is the colour that's right for that context. If we think about things that smell, People make a reference to objects that smell, so something might smell like socks or it might smell like orange or uh, smoke or food. It's related verbally to the, to the source. Uh, with colour I had uh, another observation that I found quite pertinent. If people talk about colour and what it means to them, they often relate it to an event in their personal life and it will also colour the colour experience they have. So if it was a positive experience, it's very likely that colour also becomes more uh, positive for them personally. People need guidance, a helping hand, inspiration, um, just to make them to make sure that they end up with the right colours. Uh, as an architect I'm using a lot of colour in our interior projects and uh, not only because of the, the, the aesthetical points, the style, but also as a sort of functional element. It, uh, Colouring spaces would make it more easy for people to navigate, to make the significance of the build, of the use of the spaces much clearer, the, the meaning, etc. Making colour decisions is often contextual, again context. Um, you make colour choices based on the weather, on the cities you are, on the way you want to fit into the landscape.